today we'll be going over how we color graded this clip of a Porsche GT3 that went viral on our Instagram. Awesome! So the way we actually graded this clip was using a power grade called Digifilm. Now Digifilm comes in two forms and is actually a power grade that we developed ourselves. So we're going to use Digifilm digital film. As you can see, once you apply the power grade, you can either double click or you can right click and apply grade and then this node tree will show up. You can close gallery there. To quickly go over Digifilm, what we do is convert whatever camera settings you have into Ari Log. You can do all of your camera adjustments, your color masking, and your contrast. And then what we do is we apply a print film. And within this print film, like, you have all these different LUTs that do come with DaVinci Resolve, but you can just choose one that works best for you. This power grade is actually interchangeable with a more digital cinematic Netflixy look and a more 60 millimeter film emulation look, which we do with these nodes. Right now, we're wanting to create a more digital look. Therefore, we're just gonna keep these film nodes off right now, which are the film tones, the grain, the blur, and even the halation we can turn off and we also have the glow. So leaving those off for now, we can go over to our CST, which is our color space transform. In our input color space and our input gamma, we're gonna input what camera settings we actually use for this clip. So our input color space was sgamma cine and our input gamma was slog3. And as you can see, that fixes the clip immediately. We get the contrast levels back and the specular highlights and the color does come back. A lot of you mentioned on our Instagram that this clip wasn't correctly white balanced and you might have a point there i'll be honest you might be right if you want to adjust your camera white balance is you go to camera wb wb just stands for white balance and you can go over to your calvin and you can increase this before we do our white balance we're actually going to go over to our exposure and we're going to try and just lift those shadows up a little bit so all we're going to do is actually just go to our offset and raise this up, up to a point that we're somewhat happy with so which is fine. And then we can go back into our white balance, go to effects. And, you know, if you wanted to, you can increase the Kelvin here, the temperature and find a point. Here's about right. So that's a before and after. So this is, I guess that's more correct. However, because we're applying print film, it's going to push in a lot of blues regardless. And as you can see, the actual colors within the scene are accurate. The yellows and the reds look completely fine. And I do like the cooler look for this. It really depends on what you're trying to go for. I know a lot of people kind of didn't like the fact that we kept the white band so cool. However, you know, the clip went viral, so it worked. Camera white bands at maybe 7,000. And then if you wanted to adjust your tint, you can increase that or decrease that whichever way you'd like. We had the halation on here. If you did want to adjust your halation, you can right click, go to show compound node, leave everything as it is. This is actually the best way I've discovered from all the different methods of creating halation. I found this is the best method of actually generating halation in DaVinci Resolve compared to the halation that you create from just the normal halation. It's actually something that I learned from Tom, developed Cineprint 16 and it works really well and you mix and how we did it does make a lot of sense. So all you have to do is not touch anything, but go to your blur node here and go over to your blur tool right here and you can either increase this, that'll give you more halation or you can decrease this and you'll have less halation. So whatever, whatever you wanna do, you know, you can go crazy or you can keep it low. All I'm gonna do for now is actually, I'm just gonna keep the halation off, leave the saturation as it is, pre-con, leave the pre-contrast as it is, leave all of this. These nodes right here will just help to create color masks and color separation in your clip. Problem with other power grades, such as Cineprint 16, you have to create a lot of extra nodes in your clip if you wanted to do color masks. And the node tree is so huge that everything just gets very, very messy. However, with this, all you have to do is just select, select your colors and you should be just good to go. So you don't have to spend time creating your layer adjustment nodes. It's all right there for you immediately. For this clip, I'm gonna leave this. What I will do, the sky for me is a bit too bright compared to the rest of the clip and I want more of a dark look. So I'm actually gonna go over to our global adjustments. I can do it on the global adjustments. However, we might push in a bit more blue here. So I'll just make one more node. We'll do masking with a gradient window, fill in the sky, make it a bit more dark with a gradient window. You can press shift H to see what you're selecting. That's okay. And then all I'm gonna do is get the offset, drag this down a bit, and then with the gain, drag this down a bit as well. So now you can see we've got a nice, almost even tone across the frame, somewhat. And then you can see a before and an after. So if I, before, 
and then after it just kind of blends everything in quite nicely pre-contrast is actually where you can add contrast within your clip go over to my contrast here I can bump this up. Instagram really likes contrasty videos. So if you want to post this to Instagram, you might bump up the contrast just a bit more than you like because Instagram does kind of decontrast image videos a little bit sometimes. So that's actually looking pretty good. And that's looking similar-ish to what we posted on Instagram. And if you wanted to, you can go into your global adjustments. If you wanted to add a bit more blue, you can go into your gamma, add a bit more blue into the overall clip, into the mid-tones, and you have the look. If the bottom is too bright for you, if you go over to this node again, you can create a gradient window again, shift this upwards instead this time, push this towards the bottom, create almost like a vignette, maybe bring this down a bit. So now you have a before and after, and then you have your clip. And then what we can do, because you shot this at 50 frames per second, let's go to change clip speed, speed 50. And then this is essentially the clip that we posted on our Instagram. And if it is looking a bit too purpley, you can come into your white balance and shift the tint towards the greens a bit. So if it's looking too purpley, you can shift the greens this way and it should look a bit better. And that's essentially how we graded the clip. However, just to quickly show you the film tones work, I'm going to go to Digifilm, our 60mm film emulation, double click this or right click, press apply grade, remove that first node now. And then if you go to our CST, scan it free, scene, it's log free, you can see we have more of a 60mm film look right here, right now. And if the halation is too strong for you, you can go to show compound node, go to your blur, actually decrease this to become a bit more tasteful I guess and you can see what this film tone does is it just drops the highlights gets a nice even look across the whole node and this is just a compound node filled with other things that I did inside and then we've added grain if you don't have DaVinci Resolve Studio you just add film grain overlays by the time this video is up we should have on our website uh, as a free download so you can check that out and then we have the blur tool as well which kind of just softens up the image we do have glow you can turn this off or on whatever you decide you're good to go you can increase the contrast again however much you like and then we can do the whole adding the gradient window in decreasing our gain and our offset and then in our global adjustments pushing maybe some blues into this And then that's our filmy look that we've created with the Digifilm 60mm film. So that's the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to check out Digifilm, we'll leave a link in our description. Thank you.